What are we making? A Christmas spice tea punch, utilizing the oh Christmas tea. You really tea. try to start with alcohol first thing? Yeah, so it gives you time to sober up to drive home. Yeah, I'm just trying to have your best interest at heart. Hey guys, I'm Bianca. And I'm Siobhan. And we're your wannabe tea experts here at Tea Vendor in LA. And today we're gonna to be making a Christmas cocktail. A cocktail? It's only nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but it's five o'clock somewhere. You know what? That's why we're friends. Yeah, exactly. Like, if we were in Europe, no one would bat an eye. They would just be like, oh, what are you drinking? And can I have some? Like, yeah, it's like brunch. Exactly. A Tuesday morning brunch. Exactly. Who said brunch has to be limited to Sundays? I like no, it. Brunch is every day. All right. So let's do it. So we're making a Christmas spice tea punch. We've already steeped our O oh Christmas tree tea from our brand partners, Chato Tea. Um, we steeped this overnight. So the way we did it was it was a cold steep. So you do three cups of cold water and you add the tea to it and then you let it steep overnight. So it's not a hot steep, it's a cold. Cold, cold brew. Yeah, it's a cold brew. Nice. So that's how we did, uh, prepped our tea for today. But so we're going to get started. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. So let me open this here. And Bianca, would you like to open up our sparkling cider? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so this recipe calls for quite a few uh, liquid additions. Oh, okay. Um, so as you can see here, Bianca's opening up our sparkling cider and we're gonna add an entire bottle to this. All right, so, well, so don't mind if I do. Go ahead. We'll oh, be getting to the fun stuff in a minute. This was my favorite part of like the holidays yes. is drinking this like it was champagne and feeling yep. like the adults. Same. My Aww. mom, she would get us like little plastic champagne yeah. flutes. So we would be able to feel like we were, you know, fancy. So it was always Yay. nice. And then next up, we have a whole bottle of Prosecco that is going in here. Ooh. Yeah. So this is going to be actually our only alcoholic addition to this drink. So it's gonna be nice and fizzy I and like this. festive. Should this I open stress, it? This stresses me out so bad. Should I open it right at you? Oh my god. <laughs> Do it quick. Yeah. This one's not coming out as easy as the Halloween oh, video. That makes me even Good. That's okay. That I know, is okay. I like the sound. All right. Now we're going to add in an entire bottle of Prosecco. Now you don't have to put the entire bottle if you don't want to, but it's Bianca and I, so the whole bottle is going in. So next we're going to be adding in our ginger beer. So I can't. Quick I pour. I don't understand. Pull it out. Oh, and, and then, then up. Oh, okay. There we go. Wow, this is a big, this is a big this cocktail. This is a lot. Yeah. yeah, for two people. Maybe our camera crew wants some. Two yeah. One person? Yeah. We gotta <laughs> act like, you know, we got a whole the big whole crew. camera crew. So, uh, AKA that. AKA her. <laughs> Maybe she wants some. <laughs> <laughs> if our video footage just gets like really freaking shaky later in the day, you just know. You just know. No. Just <laughs> so, we went ahead and we added some fresh cranberries to the mixture, and we're gonna add in some fresh sliced apples as well. So my favorite thing when you use fruit in a cocktail like this is that it makes for a great snack later because it soaks up all the yummy like liquids and stuff. Yay! Okay, oh and cinnamon. Hold on, hold on. Oh. So we're gonna add in one cinnamon stick. Give it a nice twirl like Bianca's doing. Okay. And then these ones, no, huh? No, oh, no, no, oh. you're jumping Just the gun. Just kidding. 
It's garnish. Uh, garnish. I knew that. I did know that, but I was testing her. <laughs> so what we're gonna do here? We're gonna give it a little swirl so all of our flavors can incorporate here. And that looks. Was that was that enough? Camera lady, because just so, so a couple weeks ago when we were making one of our cocktails, um, our camera lady, our director, she let me know that one time when I was stirring, that she didn't think I stirred oh, enough. Oh yeah, I was like, <laughs> she didn't think I stirred enough, and yeah. so that she didn't think that the flavors would have been incorporated well enough. So and then there was is that this enough for you? And then there was that time that we were like mixing it and it was like her clunk, her clunk, her yeah, clunk. Yeah, that her was clunk. all you. And yeah, so, yeah. you know, she's got issues with both of us. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But is that enough? Is that enough for you? Oh, you know what? And you can't even hear the Kirk clunking. No, because this Listen, is plastic. plastic. Okay. All right, ASMR? I'm ready to drink. Any drink. ASMR? <laughs> So let's give this a try, shall we? Yes. And are we gonna do a rating scale and like what we might add to it and do differently? Um, okay, yeah, let me rate this one. <sighs> and then let's see like what we would add, what we would take out. Typically it's like what we would add, I feel like, to these kinds of drinks. Cheers! Cheers! That's really good. Oh yeah, you can't even taste the alcohol. No. Is that the problem though? No, I like no. it. I really like it a lot. Actually, I wouldn't change anything about no. this. No. I'd give this like a 9.64 out of 10. Yeah. Perfectly, wow. perfect as it is. You've got the ginger, beer, you've got the tea, you can yeah. actually taste the tea. You can. And I mean, yes, there's a little bit of Prosecco in it, but honestly, it's not the dominant flavor. No. So I really like it, and I would drink this again. Yeah, and you know what? I think the reason why there isn't another kind of alcohol in here, like a vodka or a gin, is so you can taste the tea. Mm -hmm. So that really like nice, complex flavors of the Oak Christmas tree tea come yeah. through. I think it's that's what really this allows really it to good. taste good. Um, I actually might serve this at my Christmas tea this year. I hope you do. I was just gonna say, you should definitely do this at the Christmas tea because yeah. I really like it. I think it would be great. But anyway, guys, this one's a winner in our book. Yes. So follow, like, and subscribe for more tips and tricks and how to use tea in unconventional ways. Bye, guys.